Hi, my name's Brad Howard. Today I'd like to talk to you through Australian demographics. Yesterday I had the great privilege of going along and seeing one of the world's leading demographers, an American called Harry S. Dent. I've reading, been reading Harry's books and information that he's been sending through email for the last seven years. Uh, he predicted the great crash that happened, uh, he predicted the boom that was before that, and he's made predictions going into the future. His predictions are very, very accurate. The reason they're accurate, he's based it all on demographics. So he's taken away all the nonsense and just looked purely at figures and cycles that have happened in previous history throughout the world. So I really enjoy watching and reading what he does. I'm just going to take you through uh, a, a few things today that I've picked up that I see relate to Australia. First of all, I'm just going to look at demographics and the demographics of Australia. Looking at the population size in each demographic, this, the main categories we're looking at, the oldest of the categories, the oldest of the generations uh, around now, are tend to be called the builders. The builders tend to be the 70 plus group, 70 years of age and older. Then we've got the baby boomers. Baby boomers tend to be the age group um, from 55 through to about 70 years of age. Then you've got Gen X, termed in Australia, tend to be the 40 through to the 55. As you can see, approximately a 15 year is called a generation. Then we've got Gen Y, which tend to be the 25 to 40 year old group and then it goes into the Millennials. Those born around 2000 and onwards. Okay, so, and we'll put there under 25 years. So they're the age groups. So it's really interesting to look at those demographics and go, well, let's see what numbers occupy those demographics. Well, looking to the Bureau of Statistics, Really interesting, I'm just going to make an interesting comparison here from 2005 through to now. Okay, so in 2005 we're looking at a population of 3.8 million builders generation. So they were quite a big generation. Now we'd have to say just sheerly with deaths, etc., that is down from the 3.8 million. In 2005, the baby boomers in Australia made up 4.1 million. We'd be saying that's probably similar to now. In Gen X's, interesting, 4.4 million. Why I say that's interesting is in most other developed countries in the world, so the, the top tier countries, the Western world, the baby boomers were the biggest population of any generation. In America, very much so. In Australia, they were bigger than the builders, but Gen X was bigger again, which makes it very interesting for our property market. So we say they're about an equivalent now. Then in 2005, we saw a big population drop to around 3.8 million Gen Ys. So with that 3.8 million Gen Ys, we would say, okay, we're heading to a lesser population coming through underneath us. However, since the mining boom and the resources and the massive immigration that Australia has taken on, not just in births, but massive immigration, what that immigration has attracted is the demographic of Gen Y. So instead of looking at it going, right, things are going to really start to drop off after Gen X, it then goes and it's gone upwards. In Gen Y, this has gone upwards and now is bigger than the Gen X. And the Millennials, the Millennials at this point in time, because we're not seeing that immigration so much in that group, it's more about births, it then drops down to around about the 3.8 again. And come this point in time, um, the 25-year-old gap will say it's around equal at this point in time. 
But as you can see, this is the greatest interest in the fact that all that immigration that's come through has mainly sat in this Gen Y group, which is really interesting for Australia. So they are the demographics of Australia that I just wanted to talk you through today. And then what I'm going to do is follow on next week with how that impacts on the property market and the spending of those age groups, etc. So the next few videos are really about the demographics because I see this as really crucial in setting up what you're going to look at when you're investing in property or developing property, renovating property, whatever. This is an extremely important information to go, what am I going to cater for? What generation am I going to cater for? And we're going to look at in the next couple of videos as what are the typical spending patterns? What are the typical investment patterns of each demographic in Australia? I find this highly, highly valuable and something that most people don't get involved in talking about. Those who are in the serious developing game, this is a very big factor to them because they need to know if they're going to build what market they're going to cater for and what does that market want. So I'd like to keep you to keep watching over the next couple of weeks and I'll talk you further through it. But thanks for watching today. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.